Hi there, you are watching a video of piping systems in industrial plants. The contents that will be covered in this module have been outlined to understand the design process of this element in order to arrive to an adequate design. There are several codes and standards that must be used when designing a piping system. Calculation and design codes, such as those included in the different sections of the ASME B31. Standards, such as the ANSI standards. Material specifications, ASTM. API specifications. And other standards, such as the MSSSP. Or welding codes, as the American Welding Society, AWS. There are different design codes for a piping system. All of these codes yield similar results since they are based on the same principles. However, each code uses its own safety coefficients and calculation factors depending on the type of plant that is intended to design. In piping systems, the most commonly used design codes are those of the ASME B31. The piping design code ASME B311 is applicable to power plants, energy generation plants, geothermal heating, central and district heating systems. In turn, the piping design code ASME B313 is applicable to the design of refineries, could be petroleum refineries, textiles, paper refineries. Also, it is applicable to petrochemical plants and only uh, for downstream plants. The piping design code ASME B314 is applicable to the transportation of hydrocarbons outside the limits of a refinery and th this means uh, upstream. The piping design code ASME B318 is applicable to gas transportation pipelines outside the limits of a refinery and only for upstream. The European equivalent to the ASME B31 code for the design and calculation of piping system is the EN13480 standard. It is a very broad code covering different types of industrial plants and piping systems. The standards of the American National Standards Institute, or ANSI, Used in the design of piping systems are those that establish the dimensions and constructive characteristics of the different components of a piping system. ANSI standards were absorbed by ASME. The standards of the components that can be selected for the designs made according to the ASME B31 code are listed in the body of the different sections B311, B313, etc. The table shown on the screen is a listing of the standards supported by the 313 code. The ASME standards most used in the design of piping systems are the ASME B165 flanged fittings, B169 butt welding fittings, B1611 socket welding and threaded fittings, B1620 metallic gaskets for pipe flanges, B1634 steel valves, B1647 large diameter flanges, B3610 welded and seamless pipes, carbon steel, and B3619 welded and seamless pipes, stainless steel. The standard that defines the dimensions and characteristics of pipes is the ANSI ASME B3610 for carbon steel pipes and B3619 for stainless steel pipes. Since this nomenclature can be difficult to remember, it is useful to have a shortcut to define the standard that corresponds to each element. The screen shows a sketch with the corresponding standards in each case. For example, a butt weld T shall be specified as per the ASME B169 standard.
Standards of the American Society for Testing and Materials ASTM, cover everything related to the materials to be used in piping systems and their corresponding tests. As per the ASTM, a material is defined according to the specification and the grade or type. In this case, it should be read A53, grade A, B or C. The biggest challenge with the ASTM or ASME designation lies in the fact that even when the metallurgy is the same for the whole vessel, carbon steel for example, components may have different designations depending on their fabrication method, casted, forged, welded, etc. For example, for carbon steel metallurgy, a pipe may be A106 grade B, while a flange would be A105. There are different types of loads coexisting in a piping system, which the piping designer must analyze, then select the most restrictive combination for the system. Could be the hydraulic testing condition or the operation condition, etc. In a piping system, there are three types of loads. Sustained loads, displacement loads, and occasional loads. Sustained loads are caused by mechanical forces present during the normal operation of the system. Typically, they do not govern the design and the configuration of the system. Sustained loads include the pipe's own weight and the internal pressure. Temperature changes induce thermal loads in a piping system. This occurs when the expansion or contraction of the piping system is not free, but the displacement is restricted by supports or anchors and uh, equipment nozzles as well. Occasional loads are applied to the system only for a short period of time, usually from 1 to 10% of the estimated useful life of the plant. They can be of a diverse nature wind, seismic, vibration, pressure safety valves, discharge load, water hammer, etc.